Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to use a magic mask tool in DaVinci Resolve 17 in order to remove a background from a clip. The magic mask tool is one of the game-changing features in DaVinci Resolve 17 and today I will show you how to use this amazing tool to remove a background from almost any clip which would be very, very difficult with other techniques. Unfortunately, the Magic Mask tool is available only in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve 17, but it's also one of the reasons why the studio version is worth to purchase. And today, we will be turning this shot into this one. I hope you will like it. Let's start! And we are in the color tab. I've got my clip here. I deliberately chose a clip that is not shot with green screen. And that is quite tricky because we've got some hair here. But also remember, the magic mask is a very powerful tool, but it has got its limitations. So if it would be possible to remove a background, it all depends on the clip you work with. Sometimes it can be very difficult. But now let's go to our magic mask tool and I will tell you quickly what we've got here. So here's a slider that we can use to go back and forth within our clip. Here on the left, we have person and features. So you can choose if you want to track the whole person or some individual features, but I will pick person, although the dog is not necessarily a person, but it should work in this case as well. Then on the right, we have all other controls that we will be using to refine our mask. Here we have invert button that we can use to invert the mask. And here we have a mask overlay that we can toggle on and off in order to see our selection highlighted in red. And I will show you this in a second. But now let's create our mask. So first make sure that you've got this qualifier with a plus on it selected. And also here the qualifier from a drop down menu should be selected as well. So now I will just draw a line on my subject and let's turn the overlay on and here's our mask. So as you can see, the magic mask did an amazing job selecting the subject, but let's see how it's going to look when we play the clip. And also I personally don't like to use this red mask overlay. I prefer to turn the highlight on right here because I'm able to see much better all the edges. So you can see we still have some black parts of the background left here. And we have to fix this. So let's move to our refining tools. And first, I will switch the quality from faster to better. It should give us a better selection. Yeah, it is a bit better. This is before and after. And now let's track the clip. Remember that the Magic Mask tool is actually quite heavy. So depending on your system, it could take a while to track the clip. Okay, it's done. And the selection is still not perfect. We've got some parts of the background here, for example. And to fix this, we can use the qualifier with minus on it. So I'll grab it and I will draw over the black background. Two very small strokes. And it disappeared. And now let's track it backwards again to see if it works. Okay, looks better. So now we'll use some of these refining tools to soften our mask even better. I normally use clean white or clean black, then the noise and blur radius. And also remember that this tool is very, very precise. So you should normally go quite high with these numbers to be able to see a difference. So let's start from clean black and I will go up to 50. And this is before and after. I will go through the clip to check it. Okay, then I will use my denoise. I will go up to 30. And then with blur radius, I will try 10. I will change denoise to 50. As usual, it's all about trial and error. 
let's play the clip. Okay, I think I will go up to 70 with clean black and up to 60 with the noise. Let's just go for it. And let's play it. Okay, I'm happy with it. And now, to be able to export our mask, we have to connect the mask output here with the green output over here. And then when we turn the highlight on, we can see that we have our alpha mat ready. So I'll go to deliver. I will call it a doc mat. And I'll export it into the right folder. Add from render queue and export. Okay, now I'll go back to the color tab and I will swap these outputs again to turn our clip back from the alpha mat to normal. Then I'll go to the edit tab. I will highlight my clip and I will choose a new fusion clip. Then we'll go to fusion and let's move our notes here. Now let's import the alpha mat Let's drop it here and let's connect it with our media in. And then let's click on the media in node and let's change channel from alpha to red and voila, the dog is masked out. So now we've got an object with no background and if we want it, we could export it like this. But I will show you how we can replace the background with something else. I've already chosen the image I want to use and I've imported it into the project. So let's drop it here. This is how it looks. It's a still image from Pexels videos again. And to put it behind the subject, let's grab a merge node. And let's place it between media in and out. And then when you move your cursor, you can see that yellow arrow is a background and green arrow is a foreground. So we want to swap these outputs to put the dog in the foreground and the picture in the background. All right, perfect. Now we have our subject as it should be on the top of the image. So let's modify it a little bit to make it look better. So I'll click on the media in and I'll hit shift space and I will find transform. Now we can modify our subject, its size, aspect ratio, the angle and the position. I can also move it manually. So I'll place it here. Then I'll change the size a bit. Okay, let's play it. Okay. Then I will show you how we can blend it a bit better with the background. So let's make some space between notes. Let's click on the media in note, then shift space again. And let's grab mat control. And here we can modify blur, contract expand, and gamma. So maybe I will push my gamma down like this and let's play it okay looks good and let's color correct it a little bit we will add some contrast because the dog is more contrasty than the background so let's click on the merge node let's add color corrector and here let's increase contrast not too much just a tiny bit and let's see the final result full screen Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and feel free to message me with any questions. See you soon.